Brave Enough by Rob Justice. Here we have horns and hot dogs, creaks, clunks, and claws, monsters and music, claws and dogs, monstrous love, noise, a guide to monster jams. And we have step-by-step -step of the monster two-step. And it says, beware. Bumps in the night, shadows of evil, how to spot a vampire, don't go out there. And then it says, that's not a shadow, that's a monster. Poor little brother, he sees monsters everywhere. They're outside, out front, out in the open. They're inside, in closets, in the shadows. They're beside him, behind him, beneath him. You name it, in his head, the monster is there. Haven't you seen them? Look. There's a monster outside the window, and it looks like he has lots of books about monsters. This one says, Understanding Monsters. Now, unlike little brother, I know that monsters are just a bunch of phony baloney fan fantasy make-believe, and today I'm going to prove it. Hey, I'm not finished with my monster studies. Today, I'll teach little brother to be just like me. Brave enough, brash enough, yellow boots, flashy enough. Oh, she has yellow boots. Looking for signs of monsters, we comb, sweep, rake, and ransack the block. Here it says no trespassing. And that looks like a house where monsters would definitely live. We frisk, ferret, and forage in the fields. Oh, Here's a cemetery. These definitely look like places where monsters would hang out. No horns, claws, or fangs to be found. I show little brother how to be big enough, strong enough, fast enough. But for some reason, he's had enough. He says, I'm not doing this anymore. He doesn't want to be dragged to scary places anymore. Little brother has put on a brave face, but I know he needs something extra Something protective, something powerful. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like a yellow cape. Something perfect, something that helped me. It's not helping. He looks very upset. There's all spiders. Here's another spider, two spiders. Now he's got a mouse, a snail, and a spider. They all seem to be coming toward him. Now look at him go, brave enough, brash enough, yellow cape, flashy enough. Aha! It looks like he's just running from all of the bugs. No longer are monsters slinking in the shadows, creeping in the brush, or swimming in the swamp. Yes, they are! It says, danger, keep out. Together, we're having the greatest time. Watch your step, giant. Oh, hole! Oh no! They're falling into the hole. And here it says, jumping, sliding, climbing. Oh, it looks like they see some dinosaur fossils. And then they keep going, spinning and laughing. Oh, and they keep going. Here's the yellow boots. Let's see where they go. Until we meet a not so phony, not so baloney, not so fantastically make believe monster. And here's the monster, and it says humans and loud noises, understanding humans. Oh, and it looks like this monster is reading books about humans. So the monster might be scared of humans, just like the people are scared of monsters. Thankfully, both little brother and I are brave enough. They're, ah, ah, they're both running away. Brash enough, oh no. Yellow, they're throwing books at each other. Yellow stuff, flashy enough. Oh, they're both hiding behind a rock. However, I'm stuck, strained, and strapped for ideas. 
Luckily, little brother is on it. And it looks like he's reading a book. I know, monsters love to stomp and stamp. So I follow with some snaps and taps and the monster just can't help but clap some knee slaps so they decided to dance. Oh, that's fun. No longer are monsters slinking in the shadows, creeping in the brush, or swimming in the swamp. They're outside, out front, out in the open, all thanks to my brave enough, brash enough, seems to read lots of green books flashy enough, little brother, who finally has nothing to be afraid of. Oh, how fun. They're all dancing together. Except vampires and ghosts and zombies too. Oh no, now they both look scared and she's just like, uh, no, I'm not scared. And then it says zombie guide, human encounters, bumps in the day, humans in music and skin and bones. Humans love noises. That is a great book. It's called Brave Enough. And don't forget to subscribe for more Goodreads for Kids.